After Saul was rejected by God and Samuel, you try to imagine how much turmoil he must have felt trying to figure out when his time as king of Israel would be over. Samuel, in secret, anoints David, but he hasn't been installed as a king yet. Saul is trying to fight these battles with the Philistines, wondering when he's going to be replaced. And that brings us to one of the most famous stories in all of the Old Testament, as we walk beside a brook in the Valley of Elah. Then David came out here and faced the giant. And I believe at that point he gives one of the most moving speeches that's in all of the Bible. In 1 Samuel 17, after Goliath has taunted him, it says in verse 45, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the beast of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is one God in Israel, that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hand. Such a beautiful speech. And of course, we know that as soon as he finished that, he took one of those stones, put it in his sling and killed Goliath. David's speech, he emphasizes, he already knows that people are going to hear about the next couple of minutes for the rest of history. And he wants them to understand something about God from it, not something about him. He wants people to understand that it's not because he had the fastest arm to swing that sling around. The reason that Goliath went down was because God helped David do that. And the God of Israel, the Yahweh of Israel, was the true and living God.